Magandang araw mga kaguro. Ngayon ay titingnan natin at aanalisahin ang isang banghay aralin sa science. So, bago natin ito simulan, sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, magsubscribe na po kayo at ihit ang notification bell para updated po kayo lagi sa ating mga videos. So, ngayon, ito ay isang lesson plan sa Science 6 na kung saan nakasentro po ito sa mixture. So, ibig sabihin, pwede po siya ng, sa lahat po ng topic ng, uh, ng mixture from grades 3 to 6. So, pwede po siyang i-apply lalo na lalo, lalo na po yung mga techniques sa kayong mga ginawa po dito sa lesson plan. Yan. So ginawa po itong video lesson plan po na ito para po makatulong at sana po ay wag naman pong ibenta. Yan. So para po sa ating content standard, the learners will demonstrate understanding of the different types of mixtures and their characteristics. For the performance standard, the learners should be able to prepare beneficial and useful mixtures such as drinks, food, and herbal medicines. For our learning competency, The learners should be able to describe the appearance and uses of uniform and non-uniform mixtures. So the code is S6MT1AC1. So our objectives is describe the appearance of the combination of the liquid and liquid materials. So for the integration health so we have cognitive skills describe the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture and miscible and immiscible mixtures for a psychomotor combine the mixture and identify whether it is miscible or immiscible so mag experiment sila gagalaw sila for effective diligence in following rules and precautionary measures while performing a group activity so pagsunod yan so ang content natin ay uniform and then uniform mixture for our learning resources our reference so teachers guide learners materials and textbook pages other learner learning resources visual aids, materials to be used during the experiment, and also the SLK. So, for our methodology, engagement, so, magkakaroon mo tayo ng drill, EPSWAW, 5 science for the week, so, para ma-refresh ang mga bata sa mga science terminologies, And also, sa panandalian, EPSTAW, 5 science trivia a week. So, ito, ang tinrivia ay halo-halo. So, may kaugnayan agad sa lesson. So, pagkatapos nun, magre-review muna from previous lesson. So, what is the process of mixing or being mixed? So, after nyan, Let the pupils answer the question, then answer the pretest on page 2 about miscible and immiscible liquids. So, nasa SLK po yan. Kaya, upload po natin yung SLK. Kaya, maghintay lang po kayo, inuna lang po tong lesson plan. So, ayan. Ayan si Marikit. So, For establishing a purpose for the lesson, show the picture of Marikit and introduce her to the class. After nyan, di ba meron tayong mga E sa science lesson? Exploration na tayo. So, presenting examples, instances of the new lesson. So, dun sa SLK, may maikling kwento. Pagkatapos nun, ask the following questions. Yan. 
So, meron din parang storytelling. So, since self-learning kit ito ang ginamit dito, so dapat ang bawat bata ay mayroong materials para sarili mismo nila ang magdi-discover, magbabasa, magsasagot. Kasi self, from the word self-learning. Next, isa sa mga five is natin ang explanation. Discussing new concepts and practicing new skills. So, dyan na, uh, ayan na yung I do. Yan. So, sila na mismo ang gagawa. Sila mismo individual. So, let the pupils supply the missing letters to find out the word behind it. Then, the teacher will discuss and gives examples of it. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon pa rin ng discussion. So, ayan yung i-discuss. So, we have miscible, immiscible, uh, pieces of matter, kasali din yan. So, yan, homogeneous and heterogeneous. After na I do, ang susunod niyan ay we do. Yan. Pag sinabi natin we do, so ibig sabihin, this is a group activity, group work. So, magsasagot sila naman ng activity from SLK ng silang lahat. So, ang activity na yan ay am, am I miscible or not? So, itong activity na to ay pang uh, group activity na kung saan kanya-kanya pa rin ng sagot sa kanilang self-learning kit. Yan. Kumbaga, uh, kailangan ng collaboration para brainstorming, para maging tama ang kanilang kasagutan. Isa sa five is natin ang elaboration. Finding practical applications of concepts and skills in daily living. So, you do. So, you will tell to the pupils to answer activity, activity 3A and page 7. Then, for the application, let the pupils answer activity 3B, page 7. Yan. So, in making generalizations, so the teacher will guide the pupils to generalize as follows. So, ano ba yung kanilang tinalakay? So, mag dapat hindi mawawala sa part ng lesson plan ang generalization. Yan. Next, after naman ang evaluation ng generalization, kailangan na natin ng evaluation. Yan. So, let the pupils answer what you have learned on page 9. Then, after that, uh, pagkatapos nilang magsagot, bilangin nyo ulit kung ilan yung nakatama nang sa ganun ay mabilang nyo kung ilan yung percentage na nakapasa sa hindi nakapasa. Next, evaluating additional activities. So, enrichment na yan. So, ayan yung remarks. Kailangan ng reflection. Ayan yung percentage. So, yan. Diyan nagtatapos ang ating uh, lesson plan in science mixture. So, hintayin nyo po yung i-upload yung SLK na ginamit po dito sa video sa lesson plan po na ito. So, regards po sa aking mga kasamahang guro. Nakasama ko po dito. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ulitin ko po uh, sa mga hindi po nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na at ihit ang notification bell. God bless everyone. Keep safe.